Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video where we're going to look at what scores you could have got if you were following the 5% system. That is where you're trying to finish in the top 5% globally. I did put out a video yesterday showing what to do with the free hit but I'll go over that again at the end of this video. I'll also give a quick hint what to do if you've already used your free hit so you can't free hit for game week 29. So let's have a look at the scores. It started getting a bit complicated for me working out the scores regarding the potential minimum, maximum and average because I knew there were so many formations being played every week. So I've simplified it for me a little bit where I'm going to assume everybody's playing a 4-4-2 formation. So one keeper, four defenders, four midfielders, two strikers. And then I'm going to work out all the averages based on everyone who we could have played. Some weeks this means the average score is going to be elevated because people who would have been on the bench got good scores. And other weeks the average is going to be suppressed because we are including the bench players who got bad scores. So I think overall it's going to be okay. And I've checked this week how it worked out and it did seem reasonable. And if you understood none of that, don't worry, I'm going to go through it anyway. So starting off with game week 27, you would have played one of these goalkeepers, De Gea, Raya, Ramsdale, Pope, Kepa, Ward, and they scored 8, 9, 6, 3, 3, and 2. That's an average of 5.2 you would have got for your keeper. You would have played two of these defenders, Trent, Van Dyke, Trippier, Chilwell, James, Shaw, Gabriel, Zinchenko, and they scored 2, 2, 5, 8, didn't play, 5, 14, 6, that has an average of 12. You'd have played two of these defenders. Me, Estupian, Aguerd, Botman, Pinnock, Castagne, Fafana, Worrell. They scored 9, 9, 2, 2, 8, 1, 1, 7. That's an average of 9.8. You'd have played two of these midfielders. Salah, Fernandez, Saka, Madison, Gakpo, Rashford, Odegaard. They scored 0, 3, 3, 2, 2, 3, 7. An average of 5.7, so that's very low. You'd have played two of these midfielders. Martinelli, Gibbs-White, McAllister, Mitoma, March, Jensen, Somerville. They scored 8, 2, 10, 12, 11, 5 and 2. So you'd have averaged 14.3 for these two. You'd have played one of these forwards. Harland, Kane, Darwin, Tony, Felix. Felix it is, but I'm calling him Felix. They would have scored 6, 13, 2, 13, 1. That's an average of 7. You'd have played one of these forwards, Watkins, Isaac, Ings, Mbremo and Johnson. They scored 8, 7, 2, 4 and 2, average of 4.6. Now the captains you'd have played was either Tony, who wore the old mule hat, or else it would have been one of the three Brighton midfielders, or at least that's who you should have played, and they'd have had the old mule hat. And their scores were 13, 10, 12, 11. So basically, it didn't matter which one of these you kept in. They're all very much of a muchness. So that's an average of 11.5 for the captain. So globally, throughout the whole game of 11.5 million players, the global average was 63. The worst you'd have done following the system was 27. The average was 70.1. The most was 115. And I checked the people that I know are following this, or have said they're following it, check their teams. And I think the majority were just about the majority were green arrows. Two were below the average, the average of 70.1 that is, and the other five or so were above that. There were a couple that got over 100, so that's nice. So hopefully you kind of did all right, but although you may have got a red arrow this week, if you follow this week after week, hopefully we'll be able to get in the top 5% and everything will be all right. <laughs> and you'll impress your friends and family. This channel's got 582 subscribers and I'm very, very grateful for that. If you like this sort of thing, please do subscribe if you haven't already. Leave likes, leave comments, that's all great and appreciated. So if you've 
unable to use your free hit because you've already used it and you want to know what to do with your team and you're following this system, then either reach out to me on Twitter, that's my handle there, I assume it's called a handle, at Midnight Mule FPL, so you can direct message me, or else leave a comment below and I would try to make sure I check those quite a lot within the next 24 hours and get back to you. If you are unsure whether to use your free hit or decided not to because you've maybe got nine players playing, that's absolutely fine. You can free hit and probably game week 32 or maybe even later when there's a double, depending on which players you've got. Or if you want my opinion, that's fine again. You can DM me or leave a comment below. Now, captains, if you're not free hitting, but you're doing the system, I would suggest your captain's choice are, if you have Kane, give Kane the old mule hat. If you don't have Kane, but you have Saka, put the old mule hat on him. If you have neither of those, then Odegaard. If you have none of those, then Watkins, your captain. If you have none of those, then Tony's your captain. And then your vice captain would be the second one on this list that you've got. If you don't have any of these, then give your captain's hat, the old mule hat, to your most expensive player and the vice to the second most. And hopefully that makes sense. And I'm now going to go through quickly the video I did yesterday, which is uh, what to do on a free hit to hang about. So I'm now going to go through four pages of goalkeeper, then defender, then midfielder, then forward. And you want to pick whatever it says at the top. So for keepers, that's going to be two. One of the keepers obviously be on the bench. At the end of this process, you want to have four bench players, one to keeper and any other three that's legally okay. And those obviously starting on your bench. So we've got cheap players for the bench and the rest. You should be able to pick any one and you'll do all right. But generally, the more expensive players are the more likely to get the higher point. But not necessarily. There are some cheapish players. Hopefully that makes sense. But basically, just pick some of these players and you'll do all right on your free hit. So if you're a goalkeeper, you want to pick Pope from Newcastle, Ramsdale from Arsenal, Martinez from Villa, Kepa from Chelsea and then Ward from Leicester because Ward's going to sit on your bench. So one of those first four and then Ward on your bench. You want to pick five of these defenders. Trippier, Newcastle. Chilwell, Chelsea. James from Chelsea. Saliba from Arsenal. Gabriel from Arsenal. Zinchenko from Arsenal. Shah from Newcastle. Davies from Tottenham. Botman, Newcastle. Consa, Aston Villa. Worrell from Nottingham Forest. But he'd be on your bench. And Puerdu from Southampton. But he'd be from your bench. And it's not Puerdu, it's Perod or something like that, I guess. I'm really not very good at saying names. Midfielders, you want to pick five of these. Sun from Tottenham. Saka from Arsenal. Madison Leicester. Odegaard Arsenal. Trossard Arsenal. Martinelli Arsenal. Rodrigo Leeds. Buendia Aston Villa. Almiron Newcastle. Gibbs White, Nottingham Forest, but he'll be on your bench. Bailey, Aston Villa, he'll be on your bench. Somerville, Leeds, he'll be on your bench. And then for your forwards, you want to pick three of these. Kane, Tony, Havertz. And then for your forwards, you want to pick three of these. Kane from Tottenham, Tony from Brentford, Havertz from Chelsea, Watkins from Villa, Isaac from Newcastle, and Buemo from Brentford, Solanke from Bournemouth. Bournemouth, yeah, that's right, but he'd be on your bench, and then Johnson from Forest, and he'd be on your bench. Now, regarding captains, I've already got the old mule hat on because we already did the captains for non free hit players. If you've got Kane, you want to make him captain. If you've not got Kane, but you've got Saka, he's going to be your captain. If you've not got Saka, but you've got Odegaard, make him your captain. If you have none of those, but you have Havertz, make him your captain. Otherwise, it's going to be Watkins. Otherwise, it'll be Tony. So the first one on the, this list that you've got, you make them your captain. The second one is your vice captain. If you have none of these, I suggest you either go back and try and get in one of these. <laughs> The top row is possibly better than the bottom row, but who knows what's going to happen. And if you've got one of these, you don't want to get a second one, then just choose your most expensive other player and you'll probably do all right.
Regarding the bench order, I suggest you just put the bench order in price from most expensive to cheapest and again you'll be alright. The chances are the starting 11 you choose are all going to play. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that made enough sense and feel free to message me if you've got any questions. Alright, until next time. Thanks. Bye.